From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with incredible news about where this economy is going. The new week ahead brings a lot of ranger breaking news as the housing data is released and will show whether inflation continues to track higher last month. We already watched the CPI, the PPI, and the retail sales were released in the last few days. That already signaled the inflation has not settled down. And a recession is underway as well. That is why you have to get that fourth stimulus check, which is in every U.S. state. This was done by executive action from Joseph Biden, and those incredible checks are in every U.S. state. They've been there since the month of March. They're federal stimulus, and they're up to a whopping $100,000, and the great news is that you qualify. And the viewership of this channel has been getting these incredible checks since the month of March. And that's why you need to get it as well. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couples, $150,000 less annual income, go get it. And if you're on benefits, SSI or SSDI, go get it. How do you get it? You stay later in this recording to the second half. We're going to go over each of these incredible checks one at a time. What you need to do for now is go right in this video and become a member. Become a member to the channel that is getting those big checks for people. Because guess what? The economy is not settling down. In today's recording, we're going to look at that economy and we'll look at why the unemployment continues to surge higher and how much higher it can go. Went to 244,000 new jobless claims last Thursday, a rise from 188,000. Then we'll be looking at what you should anticipate for this new week. A lot of brand new data this new week. That data, data will give us an indication of how much your benefits are going up. But this is great news for you. Why? Because if your, bad, if your inflation continues to track higher, then you can see a raise of nearly $5,000 a year for your benefits. Plus, you need to know where this economy is because the recession is upon us. And those earnings recessions we'll analyze in today's recording. That earnings recession is very important in lieu of the Build Back Better Act, which is still going to get done. We'll have the latest details on that in today's recording. We'll go over everything you need to know across the board from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's a lot of money and it's a lot of news. The deliciousness for a big, bold, beautiful afternoon to L.A. gets underway today. We're going to go over your money, this economy, and what you need to know. The incredible details heat up right now as a wonderful afternoon to L.A. goes into a Sunday edition. It's a great day, and we got the incredible money, and it all starts right here, right now, on Afternoons. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful day. A four stimulus check is in every U.S. state. We're going to go over that incredible check in a second. But this week has a lot of major breaking news for us with the housing data and the comments from Brainard. We're going to go over all that data in just a second, plus the CPI and what you need to know on that. But first, remember to get that incredible four stimulus check in every U.S. state. How do you do it? You go right in this video, become a member. Click the link under the video and get that membership signed up. Purple Hawk, Purple Hawk, Pearl Power Casino VIP. Join this channel and get those incredible checks across the land. In a week in which there was so much shocker of data, we had those unemployment numbers surging out of control. We'll go over that in a second. But we start first with the data that started the week, which was the shocker of information about this inflation. The inflation is tracked by a series of numbers, and those numbers this week signaled that inflation has not settled down. Let's recap and bring it up to the present. First, what's coming up in this new week? This new week, we have a lot of data, especially on Monday, and it kicks up its feet on Monday. On Monday, we have the first in a series of days of data being released about housing. This data gives you big indications about inflation because inflation is affected by housing. 
and the Federal Reserve admits they want to slow down the housing market, and they're watching this data to see if their efforts have worked. This week, the housing data starts on Monday with the National Association of Home Builders releasing their mon- numbers. It's a co- joint number done by Wells Fargo's Housing Market Index. On Tuesday, we have housing starts, that's new construction. Then we have existing home sales, which is coming in on Wednesday. On Thursday, we have the Philadelphia Manufacturing Survey. And then, of course, we have on Friday the PMI. This data is very important because it shows us where is inflation and where is it going. The week continued starting on Wednesday with the shocker of data day after day. Uh, hour after hour that came in starting with that Wednesday data of the CPI. To gauge inflation, we look at a series of data points, and those data points start on Wednesday. When the Consumer Price Index number, CPI, was released for the month of June, it's one month delay, and what happened? It was a major shocker. The number surged to a level we had never, ever seen in a generation, 9.1%. Wow. In the month of May, it was 8.6%. This month, they were expecting an 8.8% read, came in at 9.1%, a major beat. And this was a shocker. It sent the markets into tailspin because people had thought, not you and I, that inflation had peaked and that now it was coming down. Why did you and I know it was not peaked yet, inflation? Because we had that core producer index number we went over on this channel last week that signaled inflation had not settled down. So this was no surprise that on Wednesday, the consumer price index number increased 9.1% year to date. And that is from a year ago in June, released this last Wednesday. Remember, it's a one month delay. This was much higher than the Dow estimate of 8.8%. And this was much higher than the month before May that posted 8.6%. What does this mean? It means inflation has not settled down. It means it's still going higher. It means it has not peaked. This data shocked the market, and it was a day in which a lot of other shockers came on the earnings front. We'll be going back to that second. In fact, the number was disconcerting because CPI delivered, quote, another shock, and as painful as the number was, it's equally bad that there was a broadening source of inflation. That comment comes from Robert Fick of Corporate Economist at National Federal Credit Union, which basically says inflation went higher in the month of June, but in a lot more different parts of this economy than the prior month. It means inflation is not only going higher, but spreading to other industries. Because, for example, if you exclude food and energy, energy, of course, is gasoline, and food, of course, is what you pay for the supermarket, the core CPI rose 5.9% month to month. And that's compared to the 5.7% inch uh, estimate. That was Wednesday. What about on Thursday? On Thursday, the producer price index number was released, and this gauges how much inflation has hit on the wholesale side. Because CPI is you, producer is the wholesale side. And that number was a beat as well. It showed inflation's hitting the wholesale industry as well. The producer price index rose 11.3% year to date, and that is near the all-time record of 11.6 posted in the month of March. This was a real big shocker. And then what happened on then Friday? Wednesday CPI, Thursday PPI, what happened on Friday? The retail sales. The retail sales were a shocker. The prior month, they were negative. This month, they were positive by a lot. They rose 1.1%, they rose 1% the month of June. This is retail sales. It's not just brick and mortar. It's also online. And when you look at the main number, that was negative. In the month of June, this was positive. And what's a shocker was that Wall Street expected to be a little bit positive, but not even that positive as well. So that was those three benchmarks. <laughs> what does this tell you? You got to get a forcible check in every U.S. state. You got to get a forcible check in every U.S. state because if inflation is tracking higher, you got to get the money right now. You can't survive inflation because guess what? If you go to buy the goods, it wor- is worth. you have to spend more money on the same good you would have bought a month ago. You need to get these forcible checks in every U.S. state. What are these checks? And how do they work? These incredible four stimulus checks became law back in the month of March, and I found them for viewership of this channel. And these four stimulus checks <laughs> are approximately $100,000, done by executive action from Joseph Biden back in the month of March. And you qualify. 
Single individual, 75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, 150,000 or less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children. And if you're on benefits, SSI and SSDI, go get it. Become a member to this channel right now. Go under the video and join this channel as a member and get these incredible checks as countless viewers have. This channel has gotten viewers $50 million since its launch. Go run this video and get that four stimulus check now by becoming a member. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over these checks one at a time. Stay the second half. Remember, these checks are federal stimulus from the federal government. They're not state stimulus. So this week signaled why you have to get those stimulus checks. Let's recap again. On Wednesday, it really shot us out of control when the inflation read was released on Wednesday for the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, the month of May, 8.6%, but it tracked in Oh, here we go. 9.1%. My goodness. Now, this is really good for something else, this higher CPI. And what is that item good for? It's really good for your benefits. Why is this great for your benefits? Your benefits will go up on average about $5,000 a year lifetime if this continues. Let's go over what's happening here. Your benefits are tied to something called COLA. It's a benchmark. It determines how much your benefits go up or stay the same every year. But COLA is dependent upon another number. And what is that number? <laughs> the number we just went over, the CPI. That's why you have to watch this channel, because it shows you how much money you're getting and shows you how to get the money. The CPI has a sub part of it called the CPI-W. That number in three months every year determines how much more you get paid by your beneficiary, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits. What is the months? What are the months? July, August, and September's numbers for the CPI-W determine how much more your benefits go up every year. And at the moment, you see how well we're doing here because remember that Wednesday number was from the last month, the month of June. It's the highest number of a generation. Oh, boy. This is getting really good. If that June number released on Wednesday tracks about the same as it is right now for three more months or goes higher, you're looking really good. Your benefits will go up approximately, depends on the viewer, about $5,000 a year. Not lifetime, not just one year, but a lifetime. It's grounds to celebrate. It is absolutely grounds to celebrate. The family of this channel, the Purple Power community, I call the Purple Power, We'll all have a wonderful pair dance because guess what? Together we will experience the incredible rise of our benefits, the most we will see in our lifetime. Let's go over some of your questions you've been asking about this because they're great questions. I want to answer them right now. First, is the rise automatic? It is automatic. You don't have to do anything. Second, who is it for? Bob Bacon asked. Great question. Is it also for Social Security? He asked. Absolutely it is. It's for all of you. SSI, SSDI, Railroad Babbitts, Veterans Babbitts. Number three, uh, could it go even higher, says Terry Rose? Absolutely, it could go absolutely higher if inflation tracks higher. Number four, another viewer yesterday said, when will we definitively see it? We will see it when we see the July, August, and September CPI numbers release, which were released one month after the month that occurs. So we're experiencing July, obviously, right now, but it's not released in July, it's released in August. There you go. And the final great question was one viewer said, does everyone get 5000 No, everyone gets the same percentage rise, but it depends on how much your current benefits are. You could actually actually see a little bit more than 5000 Boy, we're doing really well. <laughs> Raise of your benefits. Second half, we're going to get you $100,000 of four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Oh, and then we got the Build Back Better Act. Now, let's go back into what's important to understand about this economy and also where things are going by the minute and by the hour. The President of the United States has signaled that inflation is his top priority. He said that after that CPI was released. He says his top priority is deal with inflation, but he hasn't done anything with it. Well, for now, I think you're sort of happy about that because we've endured this inflation. But let me tell you what Wall Street is doing because it could be very confusing, and I'm going to simplify it starting right now. Wall Street has really three topics they've been discussing this last week. We should only be discussing two. 
we're discussing inflation recession. Why are we discussing inflation? Because it shows you how much your benefits will go up. Obviously, we just went over that, that CPI. Recession, we're talking about that because it's important to know how quickly you need to get the stimulus because this economy gets really bad in the current recession. It's already underway. Then you need to get more stimulus. Wall Street's adding another part of the equation. They're talking about the Federal Reserve. More about that second. So let's go back to that second item I want to cover for you, recession. I was the only American broadcaster earlier this year to report we're going to recession. No one else dare say that in the month of February. I was the first. I said it starts next year. Well, it's happening. It's already happened. The second quarter this year, starting in month four, posted negative GDP growth. That was confirmed by the department, uh, by the GDP now division of the Atlanta Fed. The official announcement comes from the Department of Labor, July 21. So we're already in a recession, but you're not going to feel the recession necessarily right now. I believe you're going to feel it next year. That's what the inherent hurt is felt. But the hurt will manifest itself potentially earlier if the corporate earnings recession becomes larger. What's a corporate earnings recession? It means that businesses are making less money than they lay people off. And when do we see that data? <laughs> we see that data already last week, and the, we see it all next week. Last week, we had two major banks that reported corporate earnings for the second quarter. There we go again, that second quarter of the 2022, and they reported earnings down 50% in one month. 50%, what were they doing? At Lobster Fest not working? <laughs> 50%, what happened? That's not good news, folks. It's not good news. So this new week, we're going to watch as a family the corporate earnings coming in again because a very big week. we got to watch a lot of industries, remember, because we need to see the proliferation of the recession, all the recession, all the industries at the same time. Monday's more banks. We have some more banks reporting corporate earnings on Monday. And those banks will give us indication of whether they have that negative downward spiral <laughs> like the banks from last week. Then we also have transportation later in the week. On Monday, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, and then IBM, the computer company, report corporate earnings. On Tuesday, we have some Johnson & Johnson and Netflix. I don't think Netflix is going to be good. Wednesday, we have Tesla, and then we have some transportation like United Airlines and Night Swift transportation and on Friday, excuse me, Thursday, we have some insurance like the Travelers and Friday we have some um, credit like American Express and also um, other companies across the board. Well, if that recession hits earnings very dramatically this week, that's why you got to watch it. More layoffs could be coming. You see how this is important for you? Inflation is important for your benefits. Are you going to get $5,000? Are you going to get more than that? Recession is important for you to understand how quickly you need to get stimulus, keep on getting stimulus. And the recession at issue is also going to impact that Thursday number. You know which number it is. It's the unemployment. The unemployment number has been really one of those strange numbers that I have been very critical of some Wall Street analysts saying, hey, it's a great number. <laughs> it's not a great number. The number has surged dramatically from 188,000, which is really where it should be, to 200,000, which is when I got worried about four weeks ago. And I projected it was going to go to 230. It went 230 immediately, 230, 230, 235. And then I said Wall Street's going to get spooked to get, get so to 240 because then they're basically going to say it's not a good market. It got to 244 last Thursday as soon as I said that. So this is the lowest, excuse me, this is the highest number of unemployment claims. These are new claims per week since the start of the year. It's not a good number. And yet some analysts keep on saying it's a strong labor market. It's not a strong labor market. There's a quarter million new unemployed people every week than there were the week before. Continuing jobless claims continue to grow at 3.1%. This is why you have to get that forced stimulus check. That is in every U.S. state. You go right in this video and you become a member. You get these incredible checks. How do you get them? You stay to the second half of this video. We're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time for you. And you deserve this big money. You really, really do deserve all these incredible sums of money. Now, one of the benefits for the membership of this channel also is the absolutely massively popular worksheets. The worksheets are delivered to you in the membership newsletter every time the membership newsletter is delivered. And that uh, and that membership newsletter Monday through Friday has the worksheets in about the third line. At the third line of the membership newsletter, it says LA Worksheets. What is it? 
It's a PDF with a series of pages, and the pages are all placed for you to keep notes on where this economy is and where it's going. That's what you have to do, because guess what? This economy is not doing well, and you need to know how it's pivoting, because if you know that, then you're able to prepare accordingly. It also helps you prepare your family and your, and your and your, also your household by getting all that stimulus. Let's go through the worksheets right now. It's a PDF. You can print it out, or you can take notes on a separate piece of paper. The first page of the PDF is Inflation Recession labor in the federal reserve what do we learn in today's recording we learned that inflation tracked really higher much higher in the month of june this last week with the indications released on wednesday with the cpi thursday with the ppi friday with the housing data and we're waiting this week it should be friday with the retail sales i was thinking about what i was about to say next this next week we're going to look at the inflation in the housing data housing data Recession. We learned that corporate earnings are experiencing a recession as banks, some banks reported earnings down 50% in the second quarter last week. We're going to look at the corporate earnings reports this week to see if they're in recession as well. Labor, 244,000 new jobless claims released last Thursday, highest of 2022. Not good. And then the Federal Reserve. What do we learn about the Federal Reserve in this video so far? Don't pay attention to it for now or at least this week. The Federal Reserve will do a 75 basis point or 100 basis point increase based upon those numbers we just went over, PPI, CPI. Why am I not really focusing on the Federal Reserve today? Because 75 or 100 is basically the same impact on you. It's, it's not to say one is great and one is horrible. They're both not good. So they both have a negative impact on you. Wall Street is playing this, I don't know what you would call it. <laughs> It feels like DraftKings. It feels like DraftKings stimulus. <laughs> this, uh, this, this pivoting, uh, this roller derby version of stimulus on on guessing whether Jay Powell's going to do 75 or 100, 75 or 100. I, mean, I, I don't really part care to partake in that. The analysts are actually laughing about it. I think I'll have the quote on evenings if I don't have it right in front of me. Oh, I do have it. Here's Art Hogan. I love him. Uh, he's chief market strategist in national securities. Here's what he's saying about this ridiculousness. It's really like a study in mob psychology. <laughs> he went in there. It's soprano stimulus. <laughs> we went into the week of a 92% chance of a 75 basis point, and we're ex exiting Wednesday with an 82%. It was going to be 100 basis point. Uh, Art, so we'll go back, go to, back to Art because... <laughs> We ended the week with the same survey, now saying it's a 20%. Yeah, it is a mob psychology. It went from 90% on Wednesday to 20%, saying it's not 75. It's going to be, uh, no, it's not 175. Yeah, they just all need to have some more lobster sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it's just oh my goodness now back to those wonderful worksheets in that second page of the worksheet we have the <laughs> it's called the mob psychology i love that that's just that's sort of perfect for them you know what they look like they look like those hamsters and the thing that just turns around oh 75 will go this way 85 will go that way <laughs> they really just get you out know, uh okay back <laughs> Back to the worksheets. At the second page, we have the incredible table that has you ability to keep track on your stimulus. You want to keep track on because it's hard to keep track on all this. You may have gotten util you may have gotten the water bill for February and March paid, and you may have gotten the gas bill paid for April and to June. It's hard to keep track of this. I have created a table for you to keep track of all this incredible money. Because remember, you're able to get multiple rounds, keep on getting checks. We're going to go over all these incredible force stimulus checks laying this recording. The next page is fifth stimulus. That is the raise of your benefits. Make notes. We're talking about that CPI-W. We need to see the numbers coming in in July, August, and September. Oh, and we're going to do a pair dance. We're going to do a, a virtual pair dance when that data is released. Then we have six stimulus, the, the gasoline. Gasoline, what I want to tell to you today, is not much different than I wanted to tell you yesterday, which is gasoline's not tracking lower because of a new policy from the White House. It's tracking lower because the traders are trading down gasoline based upon the belief that we are in a recession and the demand for gasoline will be lower. Uh, do I agree with them? No, but that's why it's down. S finally, seven stimulus. The president's going to give $10,000, going to do $10,000 of forgiveness of student loan debts for individuals to make $150,000 in a respective year. Wow. In the second half, we're going to go over these incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. You deserve them. You see where this economy is? It's a confusing economy. Let's go over all these incredible checks starting right now. You deserve these incredible sums of money. These sums of money of forced stimulus are in every USA. 
done by a presidential executive action back in the month of March. It's not state stimulus, it's federal stimulus from the federal government. It's not from your state, not from your governor, it's from the federal government, done by Joseph Biden, by executive action, a series of executive actions, back in the month of March, signed into law in March. So viewers have gotten since then, they've been cleaning up. It's time for you to get it right now. Get it before it dries up. Get it before it's gone. You qualify. Single individual, 75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, 150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children, if you're on benefits, SSI or SSDI, go get it as well. How do you get it? Go under the video and join this channel. Become a member and get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts and get these incredible checks. You deserve them right now. Go right in this video, join the channel, become a member like the countless who have. Thousands of people have done so well, you deserve it as well. Get that force stimulus check now in every US state. In the second half of this video, we're gonna go over each of these checks one at a time. Oh boy, it's gotten a little bit warm again here in Southern California today. <laughs> I hope it cools down by later today. But in the big second half, we got some deliciousness to heat up your hands. It's for stimulus checks, about $100,000. Become a member, and I will see you after the commercial break. See you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And excitement continues in a big, bold, beautiful second half for a gorgeous day along the coast. I hope you're having a great day. For July 17, 2022, we know that this economy is in a recession. We know that inflation is tracking higher. And that's why we're preparing accordingly. We're becoming a member, going around this video, joining this channel, and getting those checks. Viewers have been getting those checks on this channel since the month of March in every U.S. state. You deserve these incredible checks. I'm going to go over each of these wonderful checks starting right now. Even though it's the weekend, you can get these checks on the weekend. Let's go over every one of those checks starting right now. Back in the month of March, the viewership of this channel said to me, L.A., can you find us some checks? Can you find us some checks? Because they haven't gotten that Build Back Better Act done yet. And I did. I looked high and low, and I found them. A series of executive actions from Joseph Biden established a series of wonderful checks for you. Second, I want to make sure that the checks were big sums of money because you need them. Because the financial cliff is coming. A recession is underway and inflation has not gone down. And you need those checks. That's why these checks are approximately $100,000. Number three, I want to make sure that you qualify. Broad eligibility so that most of my viewers can qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less annual income, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less annual income, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children. If you're on benefits, not on benefits, SSI or SSDI, you go get them. These incredible checks are not state stimulus. They're not from your governor. They're not from your states. They're federal stimulus. When I say they're in every U.S. state, I'm basically saying they're across the United States. And with that, let's go over all these incredible checks, starting with the very first check. It is a delicious check, A. It is $6,500 to $12,000. 
and it is just wonderful. It's called the Weather Rising Grant Check, and it is just huge. How do you get this incredible check? Go right in this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. This check is $6,500 to $12,000. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. How do you get this check? Again, so simple. All you have to do is become a member. Go out of this video and become a member. And then all you have to do is do the effort. Get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Go down in the membership newsletter to your find check A, click the link and go in and apply. <laughs> Boy, that is so simple. As Carol says, long time viewer, Ella, you make it so simple. You just organize it all together for viewers. You do the research. You find the checks. You organize it for them. You care about them. You follow up with them. You make sure they understand it. Yeah, that's what I do. And that's what I'm going to say to you. Go get check B as well. <laughs> Don't stop at check A. Check B is a fifteen dollars to $80,000 for some check in every U.S. state. It is called the Homeowner's Grant. And boy, is it wonderful. If you're on SSI or SSDI, go get it. If you're on if you make $75,000 or less, single individual, married couple, one fifty, go get it. How do you do it? Go under this video. You know the routine. <laughs> go under the video. Join the channel. Become a member. Get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts and go right down to you find Check B. Click the link and go right in and apply for Check B. Choose your state and you pounce. Wow. Did you see what happened? <laughs> Did you just see what happened? That's fifteen eighty thousand. So that's eighty thousand dollars on the high end, and this one was twelve thousand dollars on the high end. Well, there you go. That's one hundred thousand dollars of four stimulus checks, and we're not done there yet. I got at least another forty five thousand, approximately, coming to you. It's check C, and boy, is it wonderful! It's the residue of third stimulus. Viewers have been getting it for over a year. They've been averaging forty five thousand, so you can do the same. It's at, it's at least a $2,000 a month over 12-month MSC check, but many viewers have gotten over $150,000. let us look at the incredible success stories that viewers have gotten from these checks, because remember, we've been doing this for a while. I've gotten people $50 million on this channel, and these viewers got these checks as well because they listen and they learn like you. Let's go over each of these wonderful checks and their success stories starting right now. Look at these wonderful numbers for rent. Nisi, all the way from 20000 up to Elizabeth at 27000 Go get these monies for rent. Go get some check C right now. Utilities. Oh, boy. Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000. Look at Angela. Look at Nancy. Go get these wonderful check Cs. And then Snap will be one of the real legacies of this channel. People like Larry Bowie. People, people like Mark's brother-in-law. Never knew that Snap existed as they found this channel. And they're getting it lifetime. Mark's brother-in-law. A quarter million dollars every 10 years. And then combinations get lots of different checks. Here's Nisi, here's the mark. This is where people listen and learn where I said get multiple checks. Why? Because you got multiple utilities. You got the water bill, you got the electric bill, you got another one, you got the rent, you got a lot of different things to get paid. That's how you do it. And what do they do? Nisi went from 23000 to 50000 Mark went from 32000 to 166000 $166,000. He went to 50, as you see in this graphic, then he went to 100, then he got check B. The range went from 105 to 150. What is universal among those last few viewers, Nisi, Lorraine, Margaret, Johnny, uh, and, and, uh, and, and all of them, is that they do the following three things. One, they watch all the videos. I tell you that you need to watch all the videos. You need to watch on the weekend. You can't disappear on Saturday, Sunday, come back on Monday. It's like, what I miss? Uh, oh, the economy. It just went the other direction over the weekend. <gasps> Uh, yeah, you got to watch all the videos. These people are in all the videos all the time because they are here to learn, to earn, move, to groove. That's what you got to do. You got to know where this economy is because you got to pivot. As soon as things turn a certain direction, you need to pivot really well. Number two, they're here to learn how to get as many different checks as possible. So all these people, they keep on getting another check every few days. They get another check every few days. They get a check here and a check there. Now, remember you do the same thing. Don't worry if you have a rejection. There's about a 50% rejection rate, but there's also a 50% approval rate. And you need to make lots of calls, especially for Check C. Check C is in the membership newsletter. It's not one place you call. It's about 20. So if you have two no's, and keep on pushing because you'll have a lot more yeses. Let's recap. Go into this video and subscribe to L81, which you're currently watching. 
the channel that changed American financial broadcasting news. And now expanding with L8-2 channel and the L8-3 channel. If you haven't seen them, go into this video's description and subscribe to those two channels launching in just days. Number two, go to the front of all three channels and make sure you hit the bell to make sure all your notifications set to all on. You want to make sure your notifications set to all on on all three channels. And then for this channel, go under the video where it says join the channel, join L81 and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP and get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert. Uh, let's look at that newsletter together as a family starting right now. Here you go. The Elite newsletter is delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, via the YouTube alert. You deserve this incredible information. Here it is. That's the alert. That's not the newsletter. Go down in the alert. Go down in the alert. Go down, 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 past the guy with the surfboard, past him. Do you see the button at the very end of the alert that says View Post? Click the button that sees View Post, and you go into the newsletter. And here you go. Here's the newsletter coming up in just a second on the screen, and you are done. That's it, and you're ready to rock and roll. How simple is that? Aren't you glad you're part of this incredible family? Let's do that again. The Allied Newsletter is delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So if you're not West Coast, know your time zone. East Coast is 10. If you're Central Standard Time, it's maybe 9. Know your time zone so that you know when it's delivered. Number two. It's delivered via the YouTube alerts, and this is what a YouTube alert looks like for the new for the newsletter. The first title of the email says "For Members Only New LA Post," and look what the first line of the email says: "LA Newsletter Today, Purple Power," and then it says under that the date. I think it says July thirteenth. That was this is a, a video made a few days ago, and you see that starting right below that is the start of the image of the guy. So you go down below the that, go lower in the email, lower, 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 past the guy at the surfboard, then you keep on going down lower until you get to the button view, click the view post, and you go right in and pounce and get those incredible checks. And that is the newsletter. Let's see the newsletter briefly on screen. Here it is. There you go. You are ready to rock and roll. So simple. You do it right today. Go right in this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, at can see VIP, and get those incredible checks across the land. Meantime, what's going on with the Build Back Better Act? The Build Back Better Act, in my opinion, is going to get done, but not soon enough. Not soon enough, because there's stages of this economy we're going through, and those stages of this economy are upon us, and you can't wait to get this money while the economy continues to get worse. What are those stages? This is stage one right now. And we never thought that stage one would have the recession. It does. We never thought that stage one would have persistent inflation. It does. And we did not know that stage one would, and but we did know that stage one would have more layoffs and higher unemployment. Get these big sums of money right today. You deserve them. In the next 90 days, recession will continue to proliferate. I said it was likely because gasoline stays high, CPI stays high, and the Federal Reserve remains rates remain high as well. Meantime, um, a pop singer is getting involved with your stimulus. <laughs> Excuse me? A pop singer is getting involved with your stimulus. Uh, who's stimulating me? Is it Madonna? <laughs> Is it is it Madonna stimulating us again? Uh, someone's going to involve you in stimulus. And who is it? If you know the pop singer, jump in the live chat. It is Cher. <laughs> in a series of tweets over this weekend, she had uh, a couple of uh, tense words for Joe Manchin, saying, claiming that he's responsible, which he is, for not getting the Democratic agenda done. So she is really sort of advocating for you. We call this part of the Purple Power push. Purple Power is the name I give to this community. Where the name come from? Because I used to wear a lot of purple shirts on this channel. I, I guess I sort of still do. <laughs> and people said, you're Mr. Purple. And I said, well, you have the Purple Power because you, yeah, because you can absolutely go get this money as well. So I think we should have share and list her Purple Power spirits in true form and go get uh, some other pop singers <laughs> to be part of the equation. Uh, you know, the first pop singer I would list to help get the Build Back Better Act done, 
is Lizzo. <laughs> Lizzo, who has the number one song on the R&B pop, uh, Billboard charts, and that song is called It's About Darn Time. <laughs> Just uh, play that under Chuck Schumer's office window and say, call the vote. <laughs> then um, the um, the next song I think that we should elicit uh, and the singer we should elicit for our assistance in this matter is Beyonce. No, not Michonce. <laughs> I mean the original one, Beyonce. She has the really blockbuster new hit song on the dance charts now. It's about quitting your job. Who should we play the song for? Uh, Joe Manchin. <laughs> it's called Release Your Soul. I think we just have this on replay and put it, uh, you know, just send it to Joe Manchin and say, uh, Joe, uh, release your soul. Uh, release your soul and just quit. <laughs> And finally, the song I don't think we should get used to part of the equation for the Bill Pat Better Act, because remember, it's a recon. You don't need any Republican support. But Mitch thinks this song would help him uh, defeat the Bill Pat Better Act. And was it left and right? <laughs> <laughs> Left and right, the new Charlie Perth and Jim Jong song. He's from, of course, uh, BTS. Uh, you know, left and right. Every time I try to do something, you bring me left and right. It feels like the anthem for Joe Manchin as well. <laughs> okay, everything else just keeps on going back to Joe Manchin. Uh, so, share. Can we enlist, you know, some um, some top singers, and 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 maybe we can get this. Um, uh, maybe we can get this done. Uh, you know, maybe we can bring in uh, Megan the Stallion or, or Dua Lipa. Maybe they'll have some ideas for this. And as Anne would always say, don't underestimate the zucchini boat. <laughs> <laughs> the zucchini boat in Doja Cat's song. Just send, um, just send some stimulus down the river. When's the when's the stimulus arriving down my river? Go watch the the the, the Doja Cat's music video. It'll answer your question. <laughs> it's coming up in, in a zucchini boat. <laughs> And with that, uh, we are extra today. We are extra, extra. Coming up later today is a brand new extra of the Evenings Allied and the original Evenings Allied as well. We got a lot of new shows coming up later today. You deserve these four simple checks. Do not wait. This is not a laughing matter. You deserve these big checks. Go right on this video and become a member. Join this channel right now. Get the incredible checks. Do the following things. Go right on this video. Join Allied One. Join this channel, become a member, and get these incredible checks. If you're already a member right now, then you should be working on this the week on the weekend. You can apply for the checks on the weekend. You can make phone calls on the weekend. A lot of these offices are open on the weekend. And if you um, if any of the offices are closed on the weekend, then get your paperwork ready. If you're doing mortgage assistance, they're gonna see need to see the mortgage. If it's utility bills, take notes on who you pay your utility bills to which who do you pay water who do you pay electric because you're going to get this money paid for is the effort and you have to have all that data ready to rock and roll thank you for joining me on a beautiful weekend i hope your weekend is well and we'll be with you all week long as we see that news and housing new housing data but of course next up on this channel is evenings from the shores of santa monica california god bless have a beautiful afternoon and stay with ally for more <laughs>